means that he came to do evil. And when I looked at it, it said that even when a snake hisses, that whisper is, when you say, when you hear a snake do that in the spirit, it's where the enemy is releasing a word or a whisper of magic. Come on here. So in other words, what are you saying, Pastor? That when the enemy comes to your mind and he puts something in your mind, in your thought process to do something God told you not to do, the spirit that's rooted in that is a magic spell. And see, and that, that and I told you that that word serpent means is to practice divination. What is divination? Divination is the use of a cult, eccentric, or a spiritualistic, a spiritualistic means, skills to practice to gain knowledge of the future. In other words, it's the use of of using the occult hidden things to know something about an, an individual, a situation, or a circumstance other than God. You know what people say, people treat me, I got a friend and they know how to go in the spirit and they can tell you what color your bedroom is. No, your, spirit, your friend is in divination. Because God ain't going to tell you my bedroom where you can willfully go in my bedroom and tell you what I had on last night, what my house looked like. No, that's another spirit, and that's divination. So when you hear people say, oh, my friend can go in the spirit, and they can know, know what they're telling you is that they friend operating in witchcraft. And it says that that serpent, that's what he does. He practices witchcraft. He practices magic. How does that magic work through words? So when the enemy put words in your mind, so you seeing here, when you look at that detect, it says the serpent, come on, he was talking to Eve. I want you to pay attention. Eve had separated herself from Adam. I can just imagine he's somewhere over there looking at the other trees. She don't separated herself because now she don't got to the place where she, I can imagine her getting the big head. Now, you give him all this stuff tonight. Come on here. Because the Bible says whatever that he put before Adam, he gave him the authority. Come on here. To name it. He gave him, do whatever you want to do. Come on here. Can you just imagine her saying, well, who he's supposed to be? You give him all this control. You give him all this knowledge. And then you going to tell me I'm supposed to just tend to him? I'm supposed to just be by his side while he doing all of this. See, I'm trying to paint you a picture because in her mind she began to put herself somewhere that God had told her to be. Not understanding that God was going to raise her up. But see, she wanted God to do it before time. How many times we want God to raise us up? I'm ready to preach right now. Come on here. I'm ready to open up my church right now. I'm ready to open up my business right now. Now understanding God some stuff out of us before we can do what he called us to do. But we said, I want to do it right now. But it said here, it said, but the serpent was more cunning. Say cunning. So in other words, he was already wicked. He was already coming with evil. So if God had already told Adam how it's supposed to be, how you raise Remember I told you the definition of garden means to surround? So if God had already protected Adam, because you got to remember, there was no sin. So if God had all the doors locked in the garden, how did Satan get in? Come on. Because see, the enemy looked at her. Come on here. He looked at her that she was jealous of Adam. He looked at her and see that she was she was she was looking at him and said, "Who he think he is? I know he my, he's my I know he's my husband, but I want to be anointed too. Come on here, I want you to put some things before me and let me name it. Come on here, it ain't good enough to me that I, you just want me to be beside him, but I want to rule and reign too. Come on, because in her mind she was sizing herself up because God. Be the head of the house, but in her mind, she said, "Did what I want to do." And she put it in her mind, so the enemy was 
was watching her. So I can just imagine Adam telling her, we're going to call this this. We're going to call a horse a horse. We're going to call an elephant an elephant. And she's sitting up here looking at him. I don't like how he do this. I want some of that kind of power. I want some of that kind of authority. Why didn't God call my name like how he called your name? And see, the enemy was watching her. He seen that she did not like, come on here, what Adam was doing. That she in her heart, even though she was with him, but in her heart, she wanted to be over him. Come on, I'm trying to show you what the enemy would do. He will watch you. You think that you fine. You think that you submitted. You think you're saying, I want to go all the way. But the enemy is watching your fruit. See, because the enemy knew that she really wasn't going home with Adam. That's why he waited till she got by herself. See, look at the text. It said here, it said, the servant was cunning. Come on here. Then any beast of the field which the Lord had made, and he said to the woman, Has God indeed said that you shall not eat of the tree of the, tree of the garden? See, here it is. God had already told Adam in Genesis 2, this is what you're allowed to do. Now, here's the enemy coming through the power of suggestion. So you got to understand, the enemy, would, God would tell you to fast today, and the devil would come in your mind and say, well, we don't supposed to fast for a church fast till Wednesday, but God don't spoken into your spirit to fast today. And then so, when you get ready to fast, then a thought comes to your mind, you ain't got to fast today, you just fast Wednesday. 